Hello everyone, this is the Diablo Daily, and it looks like I have finished installing the Diablo 3 beta. Uh, of course, it's not available to anybody right now. You can't actually play it, but the installer is available. Uh, it's been leaked, yes, and I felt very bad about even doing it in the first place. I felt bad that it had been leaked, and I still feel pretty bad that it's, that it's leaked. And, um, you know, but since Force and since DiabloFans.com have decided to, uh, you know, just go ahead and say, yeah, we know about it, then I'm just going to go ahead and go along with them and say, yep, this is, uh, this is pretty much known information. You can download it. I will provide a link in the, the description below. Um, I don't know if this causes my account to be flagged and say that I can never get into the beta or whatever. But since I guess since Force is doing it and Diablo fans is saying that it's okay, I guess it's okay to to go ahead and do it now at this point. So yeah, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. You can really only see a few things, but I will go ahead and let's see what we can do. All right, so this is it. Um, obviously, this is really the Diablo daily. And that's pretty much as proof as I can get. Um, so let's just go through the only things we can do right now are basically listen to the awesome music, which I'm going to turn down for now uh, significantly. The master volume all the way down. Speaking of the master volume, let's just go ahead and look, look at what we can adjust. You have effects volume, music volume, voice volume. So obviously there is voice acting, ambient volume and sound channels. We can crank that up as much as we want. I'm just going to go back to 64 for now. Cuz I don't know what kind of that what kind of thing that does to my video card. And of course, I can check if I want subtitles or not. Swap the output of your left and right speakers. I don't know why anybody would ever want to do that. Okay. Um video I can go to full screen mode, windowed mode, full screen windowed mode. I'm not going to change that right now. The uh, selections are pretty nice. You get uh, for a beta. I mean, these are some pretty good selections. You got 16 by 10, 16 by 9, all of those in the pretty high resolutions. You notice there's not the very large 2500 by blah 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 really large giant monitor screens yet. But of course, this is beta. Um, I do remember hearing something about that being talked about before, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Texture qualities recommends on high, recommends on medium for shadow quality. I'm not sure why it's on medium since I do have a very high end machine. We'll go ahead and put that on high. Okay. F S A A. I guess that stands for. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe somebody can tell me. I'm not super into graphics and stuff. Triple buffering can improve the smoothness of your frame rate. Let's enable it then. I like vertical sync. And letterbox. Okay. Turn the gamma up. Although that doesn't seem to be doing anything right now. Maybe I have to hit OK for it to actually apply itself. Although I don't really want it high in the first place. And so apparently changing the preference there on the video card caused my game to crash, but that very well may have been because I was frapsing it. So um, yeah, let's just continue with the game controls. Display floating numbers above monsters showing normal damage dealt by the player. Okay, this is under general. Display critical damage numbers. Display floating numbers above monsters showing critical damage dealt by the player. Display defensive messages. Display floating numbers above monsters showing block, parries, and dodges. Okay, so this is basically like WoW type uh, floating information above your face, above your character. Zoom in when the inventory is open. This is a cool feature. I like that. You can check out your character a little better, and it just makes it a little bit more personal. Auto-equip items. Auto-equip items when they are picked up. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. You have the option to do that or not this time. Show item labels on drop. Briefly display item tooltips when the items drop on the ground. Okay. 
Uh, toggle helpful in-game tutorials. Show quest objectives on minimap. Okay. Show item labels for... Oh, this is the uh, the skill set, or the, uh, not skill set, but the the options that Bastiok told us about a while ago. Tooltips. There's nothing in tooltips. Other. Display injured monster health bars. Okay. Oh, you get to decide if you want to toggle it on or off or show health bars while held. Okay. And that's the same for all these, I'm sure. Interesting. And you have keyboard options. We knew about these from screenshots and we knew about... We didn't know about these, though. Hmm. So you can do a console window, which is interesting. The tooltip is kind of funky because, well, I mean, I'm I'm get, I'm criticizing this, but you know, it's it's not even in beta yet. So the tooltip, you can't even you know see what you're looking at when you tooltip over it, which is kind of annoying. But that's why I'm a beta tester, right? Come on, Blizzard, shoot me a beta. I'll be able to give you all kinds of tips and tricks, right? But this is cool. You're going to have all kinds of options for message controls and then skill controls. This is the most interesting one because if I want to, I can set these to different uh, things if I want to. And uh, pretty cool. And then hit OK. And then now my keyboard settings have changed for my skills and etc. Let's see if middle. Yeah, mouse 3 works. Scroll up. Scroll up works, scroll down, scroll down works. Reset just sets it to the default settings. Hit OK. Um, yeah, that pretty much does, does it. I think that's pretty much all there is to see. So I guess that's pretty much going to conclude. If I find anything else interesting in here, I will definitely show you what there is to see. But I don't believe there is. I'm going to exit game. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I do. So I will see you guys later. I do have a Diablo Daily coming up very soon, and I will... Yep, I'll push that soon. So I'll see you guys later.